It is expected to generate billions of dollars for the state of New York over the next few years. Legal cannabis, you can now get licenses to grow and sell it. And it turns out just months in, this new industry is already bringing new life to smaller towns and villages across the area. Investigative reporter Dan Krauth shows us how. An hour north of the city, you'll find the village of Warwick, where the secret to success lies beneath the surface. Black dirt soil, yes, famous. Fertile soil, famous for growing onions. For decades, farmers in the Hudson Valley supplied most of the country with them. Probably since the early 1900s. A long time. A long time. But it hasn't been easy for the people in the village. Farmers have been fighting Mother Nature and more competitors than ever before. And when the state prison here shut down, more than 400 people lost their jobs. We said it's really too important to our community to let this sit like a lot of buildings that the state closes. They've now planted the seed for something else to grow. What would these look like by spring? These will be like Christmas trees. Instead of onions, the town's becoming known for growing something else. Marijuana. We think it's a home run not only for our farmers, but for new businesses, for tax revenue, for our residents, and great high-paying jobs. This is what the abandoned buildings on the state prison grounds look like three years ago. So all the extraction will take place right here under this roof. Under this roof, yeah. I toured the property when they were laying the groundwork and the drywall just weeks before the pandemic. When we first came here and saw this building, we said, what an opportunity. That's then. And take a look. So this is a reality. Yes, it is. Here's the same building now. A multi-million dollar marijuana facility. A place to cultivate, extract, and produce legally sold cannabis. It'll be shipped soon to the licensed dispensary in New York City. They're good for the consumers because ultimately they're going to get a product that has a clean supply chain. These are all mother plants? That's all mother plants, yep. Yeah. And good for the local farmers. They're licensed to grow it. And some already have experience. They started growing hemp first. It's a tough crop to grow. And if you don't know what you're doing, you can lose a lot of money real fast. Being a farmer isn't easy. Does this help keep you in the business? Uh, yeah, it does help. It just help adds to the diversification and it reduces our risk. A risky business, but one that's helping to sprout new life into an old industry.